creatine and caffeine, two things that have benefits for your physical performance, but not if you take them at the same time because they are not friends. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering, which gives me a unique perspective beyond a lot of the people you see on YouTube. And today, I wanna to talk about how creatine and caffeine, two things that have benefits for your physical performance, but not if you take them at the same time because they are not friends. Caffeine has a tendency to dehydrate you. Take more of the water out of tissues, out of cells, because of its vasoconstriction properties. So another vasoconstrictor is nicotine, similar thing. But at a very different time interval and in a very different behavior, very different, somewhat different. Now, creatine retains more water in musculature and in brain material. So to get those benefits, you want to keep those tissues hydrated. So what happens, when you take both creatine and caffeine at the same time, there ends up being no benefit, and then it, it's really rough on your digestion. You get some stomach pain and problems, and then you don't get the benefits of creatine. Both the brain benefits and the muscular benefits are somewhat foregone or completely foregone, depending on which study you look at. So what you want to do, and what I do, is uh, you know I, I have if you've been following me a long time, you know, I'm a big fan of small amounts of caffeine. So if, you have, if you're one of those 800 milligram guys, like you have two large Starbucks coffees a day, mm, I would suggest really massively cutting that back. Like, you know, one, one four ounce cup, like the small cups, like when we were kids, they had those little Dixie cups, that's 50 milligrams. I have two of those, have, have 100. Even in the pre-workout that Jake Wish Biomedical manufactures, we only, we put a very small amount of caffeine and I don't even do a full dose of that. I, I like to half dose it because I want a very, very small amount of caffeine because when your body gets used to the smaller amount, the smaller amount does the same as the larger amount. So sensitivity and amounts are very closely related with caffeine. So I start my day, have my caffeine, get the benefit and really once I get the ball rolling and then I do my workout well after I do a set of x3 anything like my day is started I am firing on all cylinders and I'm not going to get sleepy under any circumstances so I'm okay and so then maybe a couple hours after that I'll have my Fortigen combined with my creatine if the schedule doesn't work out like that, I might do it the other way around and start my day with my creatine and Fortigen. Make, I mix those together and then I'll wait a couple hours and then have caffeine later. So just make sure that they don't bump into each other and you're good. Hope it helps. Let me know if, uh, if you have any questions in the comments, thanks. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.